I'm joined by Rich Nielsen, and uh, Rich, you're kind of a veteran of the NHC. This is your seventh qualifying appearance. Yeah, the experience comes in handy. You learn, uh, you know, mistakes, and well, you learn from your mistakes, let's put it that way. So. And that's what I'm finding out a lot about, is people have different ways, obviously, of handicapping, but tournament handicapping is a lot different than just going to the races on a regular day. Well, you really have to demand a price. I mean, you can't just play one favorite after another, because you could hit five favorites in a row, and then a 30 to one shot comes in, and you're, you're blown out of the water and you've had five winners. So that's a good example of the math that's involved in going with a decent price. Now yesterday you were in the top 30 at the end of yesterday, but after the first mandatory scoring race here at Gulfstream today, you took a big jump forward and now up to number 15 on the leaderboard. Yeah, I'm still still ways from the uh, the top two guys it looks like, but uh, I'm in the hunt for the money and uh, I think I still think it's wide open for second and maybe if the leader doesn't uh, hit anymore, you know, it, he. I've seen guys have a huge day like that the first day and then not do well the second, so you never know. I mean, that is it possible to go 0 for 15? It sure is. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. Pretty much everyone in this room has. So it's, uh, it, it's, it seems like it wouldn't when it plays 15 races, but when you're shooting for prices, you know, it, it can be hard. And then as the day goes on, you're shooting for bigger prices if you're behind. So then that increases the likelihood of, of you not cashing. So uh, it's very feasible to do. A lot of strategy goes into the handicapping of the handicapping contest here. And just a quick update that I have, this is after the first mandatory scoring race from Gulfstream. A, a big jump was Russell Weber, who took a big jump up. He was previously at 136.20 and then went up to 216.20, putting him in second place. But it is Brian Troop still at the top with 232 and change. Now that was just after the first mandatory scoring race. We just had the second one from Gulfstream run. And then we'll be on to the next with more updates. Coming up here from the final day of the 11th NHC.